then about the story of the martyrdom of Hussein. Um, that is the main story and then there's many versions um, of different events sur surrounding that main event that are also done in Tazia. The Tazia itself it, in its dramatic form is like so many other classical epic stories of war that is the kind of a foundation story for cultural identity and charting one of the major moments in the history of Islam. It's a story about moral choice and it's a story about standing up for what you believe in. Where do you come from? What is this army? Show me your colors. What is your purpose in raising shields? Against the righteous who serve. Has certain specifics as the colors that are used or switching between the singing and the talking of the characters is very clear in the division of the antagonist and the protagonist. It's actually based on ancient Iranian or Persian classical verse which is in rhyming couplets with particular rhythm. And some of the drama is sung and then some is spoken. The color plays a really important part in Tazia. The colors represent the different characters and the different like sub categories and it's an easy follow through that you don't see a lot in Western culture. White and green go hand in hand as a holy family. A green represents um, the son of the prophet Hussein and his family. They are the heroes of the work, representing life, luck, new life. The color red, which is the red of wine, the red of wrath and war and carnality. Uh, those are the antagonist, Sham or Yazid, or any of those sort of characters. And Hor, it represents yellow. He starts out an antagonist, and, and then because of his experience of, of confronting the goodness of the leader Hussein, he switches allegiance and becomes a follower and a devoted warrior. It's been an incredible journey seeing how much the story relates to our individual struggles, but also the world uh, and national struggles that we're dealing with today. It's really nice and interesting to see uh, what Nico has brought from Marianne to here for, in terms of culture and theater making.